Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Shout out to you guys for tuning in to another episode on my channel. Today's Madden gameplay, we're gonna be playing Big Mo Hurst from the Las Vegas Raiders. Shout out to him for getting on and, you know, playing me. And, you know, he's a big Madden fan. He's always, you know, supporting me. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to all my follow fellow Raider fans, all my friends and supporters who support me and the Las Vegas Raiders. So here are the settings we're gonna be playing on today. Five minute quarters, all Madden. And you know I had to rep my Raiders rocking the hat. Um, I, I do have a couple of jerseys, but you know, jerseys are jerseys. I'm, I'm gonna have to get some sweaters, shirts, whatever they may be. I'm about to send him the invite right now, guys. There he is, he is on Ultimate Team. I unfortunately do not have an Ultimate Team on Xbox yet, but stay tuned on that, guys. We just sent him the game. Just gonna wait for him to join. There he is, boys. He just entered the game, and you know me, I'm gonna have to go with my Raiders, man. Um, they're just, they're actually really good. Somehow, we're at 80 overall. EA put some respect on my boys. Um, but let's see who he's gonna rock out with. And you know, it's gonna be a challenge because he does play Light of Madden. I, I don't know if he's, you know, like the best, but we're definitely gonna see, and who knows, he might beat me. The Raiders are, you know, lacking on the defensive end, but there's no excuses got to get this dub and you know it's not even about getting the dub it's about having fun and trust me guys in the future definitely gonna have a uh, mic up games with you know fellow Raiders or you know I might play Mo again with a, another mic game uh, but for now I'm just gonna be doing this commentary by myself and he's gonna be rocking out with the Dolphins a bold choice right there to uh, I don't think he has any abilities but man it should be fun and uh, if I'm not mistaken, we are end up gonna end up playing the Dolphins very, very soon. Um, we do play the Falcons next week. And then after that, I'm not too sure who we play, but I know that we play the Dolphins and that's gonna be a tough ma battle because you know, they look really good, man. Tua is looking like the player we all thought he'd be. He did have a bad rough start versus, not rough start, excuse me, rough game versus the Dolphins, but that's, uh, excuse me, the Broncos, but that's all in the past. And uh, we're in Allegiant Stadium, man. And it just, it's just crazy, man. And I'm sure it's really crazy for Big Mo as well because, you know, he plays, obviously, the DT position. He's on the team. He's a Raider, and then now he just gets to play in Allegiant Stadium. Here are my substitutions. I'm going to put my guy Pharrell in. Malik Collins, and obviously, we're going to have Mo Hurst right there. Max Crosby, 77 overall. That's very questionable. Got to put, you know, turn him up a little bit. And obviously, our linebacking core is pretty decent, but, you know, for speed purposes, I'm gonna put in some faster guys. I think McClellan, he doesn't really get playing time, but he is fast in Madden. Abram, I'm gonna put Joyner in the slot, either him or Nevin Lawson. I should have checked the depth chart before the game, but I'll definitely check it after the game. Abram up top, Jeff Heath over there. And yeah, that's looking very solid for me. Obviously, I'm gonna decline this. And Mo did tell me that he plays quite a bit of Madden, so you know, hopefully this is a learning experience from him. I'm definitely gonna shoot him some pointers and you know, help him out a little bit. But right here, we're gonna be running a little palms coverage. He's in tight slots. I'm not really gonna go super try hard and you know, blitz. As my opponent, or my guy goes off sides already early. Good pass by him. I think that's Matt Breida. Matt Breida was a dog last year. If you played Madden, you know about that guy. And right here, he's going down to the I slot. I'm gonna run some run D. Um, you know, if there's one thing I will do is I'll play run D because I hate getting ran on. It's right there. Matt Breida is almost about to bounce that out. And, you know, that's just because my linebackers are a bit slow. And Matt Breida does have 95 speed. If you guys wondering, I am in the Carolina offense, New York Giants defense. Um, I like running man a lot because man is nice this year. But he just can't run in this game. It's right here. He's going to run a screen. We see that. But we're not able to get off the block. Good screenplay by right there. And dang, this dude, Matt Breida, is super fast. So I definitely got to tune in. I did see that from the get, get go, but you know, I just wasn't able to get there because Mc, McLillan, uh, I can't really pronounce his name. He is just super fast. Right here, he's going to pass it. Great dot right there. Jeff Heath is in a third. You got to come down and play that, my guy. He's going no huddle. Great start by him. I'm gonna put Abram in the third now, right here. All right, we're gonna play some run D because whenever someone audibles down, they're definitely gonna try to run the ball. Is this a toss? It's not a toss, it's an inside zone type run. Great jukes right there. And he definitely knows how to, you know, play. He's, he's been dotting me up. He's already in the red zone, my guys. I definitely can't wait to get on offense. Got Rico Gafford, got Zay Jones, 
got Nelson Aguilar, Darren Waller, Josh Jacobs, that whole stud O-line, and oh yeah, the 98 speed demon, Henry Ruggs. Just um, hopefully we could get off the field with, you know, holding him to three. I'm definitely gonna play run D right here. So obviously the red zone, Jeff Heath, bring him in the box, bring my safeties down. And right there, we're able to get a nice hit stick right there. That was a little, you know, he had a little running lane, but you know, we were there and we're gonna have to play some more run D. I'm gonna spy my safety, put Abram in a purple, hook curl, Raquan, and of course he calls a timeout. Good timeout call right there. Probably didn't like what he saw or maybe missed uh, missed his uh, audible because that does happen sometimes to me. And I'm kind of nervous, man, because I, I know I can shoot this guy, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use John Abram right here. Come in free. Great tackle by Abram. And let's see if we can hold him to three or if he's going to go for it. I think he hold, he's going to kick three, but we'll see. Um, fourth and two, man. And he's going for the field goal. That's a dub for us. And that it just kind of clicked at the last second that, you know, I'm not going to be able to shoot the gap with people that are kind of slow. So honestly, what I'm going to do next possession is I'm going to use her Abram. But use him, I mean, I'm going to move him down to linebacker instead of that safety position. And man, I can't get over Allegiant Stadium, man. They have a torch blowing in the back. You could barely see it, but it's right under the scoreboard. Um, it's the Al Davis torch. It's going to be light, lit all the time. And it's just, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I love dome stadiums. And this is no different, man. Um, I definitely miss the Coliseum a lot, but, you know, it's, it's, Allegiant Stadium is a big dub. I'm trying to think where I should put Ruggs at. I know I have a Speed Demon in Rico Gaffer, but I don't know if I want to put him. I'm going to put him out wide. I'm going to put him out wide. And where is he? Don't tell me he's... No. Did we cut him? I don't know if we cut him or not. I should have done my research beforehand. I'm going to have to pause the game after this uh, play right here and check where he's at. And of course, I don't have my guy Darren Waller in. I don't know how, excuse me, not Waller. I don't have the GOAT running back Josh Jacobs in somehow. Um, and right there, look how fast Henry Ruggs is. Whoo, 98 speed on that post is kind of glitchy. And I definitely should have done this beforehand, but you know, we'll figure it out. And where is my guy Rico Gafford? He's not here, no. And if you don't know who Rico Gafford is, he had 96 speed. I don't know if we cut him or what it may be. Um, you know, but that dude was definitely glitchy in Madden. So not only do you have a 98 speed demon in Henry Ruggs, you also are gonna have that 96 speed if obviously he was still on the roster. Right here, we're just gonna, forgot to sub him in again. Um, Josh Jacobs is not in the game currently, but you know, we're gonna just take off and hit Hunter Renfro right there. And wow, Byron Jones just played amazing. And uh, I don't know what he has. I'm, I'm sure he has some type of zone ability. Right there, we're gonna put Jacobs in. We're gonna run a screen pass to him right here, get him the ball in action. But right here, he has chuck out and deep out zone KO. I don't know if that was a deep out zone, but it definitely looked like it. And right here, these are the three Raiders' abilities on offense. Post up, nasty streak on Trent Brown, secure protector, matador at center, and bulldozer and reach for it for Josh Jacobs. And we're going to get him the ball early. And we're going to make something happen. And you know, what is that? A gain of eight? We'll definitely take that, man. Don't at me, but you know, Waller deserves some abilities, man. If we get a little tight end apprentice on Waller, I'm definitely loving the Raiders offense, man. And right here, just gonna low ball it to Waller and great possession catch right there for us. Just, just kind of boxing him out. Just kind of, just like what he does in real life, man. Right there, Derek Carr with a nice low ball. That was man-to-man -man coverage, but you know, I think that was Camu Kruger Hill, who is not obviously the best in man. Is right here. We're gonna try to make something happen. Great defense right there. But we have rugs. Can we make a move? And we cannot. I should have juked instead of spinning. Spinning is okay. But at the end of the day, you know, the juke move is a little bit better. Right here, guys. I'm calling my shot. I'm going deep. He's been running a lot of cover three. Can we go deep? We cannot. He ran man that play. But we'll definitely take that. Darren Waller on the flat pattern. Very nice. Very nice. And that was actually cover four. But it kind of matched and turned into a man coverage. So cover four with those quarters this year, they match and turn into man coverage basically. And it, it's it's a little confusing, but trust me, if you ran cover four, you know what that looks like. It's right here. Um, I don't know how fast Byron Jones is, but I'm definitely gonna have to look at the depth chart. We're gonna just throw this corner route right here. Henry Ruggs, unguardable in man and zone and whatever you want. 
he is unguardable. Right here, boys. I'm going to run an outside zone with Josh Jacobs. And, you know, we do have that bulldozer, so I'm going to truck it up. And that kind of, that would look kind of glitchy, man. It, I was somehow up, um, but, you know, it's okay. I have a bunny play right here, mesh post. If you run, if you know Madden, you know mesh post is a great, great money play, especially in the red zone. What we're going to do right here is we're going to out route Henry Ruggs. We're going to put Renfro on a slant, motion him across the middle. And the read is to look for Jacobs, look for Waller on the outside, and we look for that post on Nelson Aguilar. He runs man and great defense, but we have Renfro. He's going to cut it up the field. Touchdown Raiders up 7-3 versus the Dolphins. That was great defense, but at the end of the day, the Dolphins corner, I, I don't know who it was. He could not keep up with Hunter Renfro. And it wasn't third down, but it was still Renfro time, bro. Right here, Daniel Carlson trying to kick it deep. I'm trying to get out the end zone because Jakeem Grant is fast. He has 96 or 95 speed. He is going to fair catch that. So thankfully for us, he's going to start off at the 25. Mo coming out in the gun doubles. I'm going to back up my corners right here so I don't get burnt deep. He has your, uh, I forgot how to print. Grant, I'm just gonna say Grant in the slot. So I'm gonna guard, I'm gonna watch that deep ball on the left side and we get caught on Malik Collins, someone who's never should be in coverage. This is not the move, but we are gonna be able to get a shed with none other than Mo Hurst. Let's go, sacking his own self. And I know he's on the other end smiling right now, man. Look at him hype right now. And look at this somewhat of instant replay. Mo Hurst able to track down Tua. And you know, that's just super funny and super, that's crazy, man. I know if I were him, I'd be freaking out. Like, obviously you got sacked, but bro, it was by your own self. So are you really even mad about that, guys? Let me know what if you would be mad about that in the comment section. Right here, some more great defense. We're gonna send a spy. Great read right there. I don't know who that tight end is. I know who Gusecki is, but that was not Gusecki. It's right here. He's going no huddle again. We're gonna have to back up Damon Arnett because Grant, man, he's fast. And once more on Malik Collins and. We're just going to sit here. He has a dot. Damon Arnett gets the pick, but it's out of bounds. And, man, it's a different type of feeling when you're balling out with your guys. Um, I definitely got to use these Raiders in a money game or something very soon, a tournament, whatever it may be, because they got me super hyped right now, man. I'm going to come out in a cover three shell once more, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Watch the slot receiver. It is, um, it is what's his face? Grant, and we're going to spy. So this isn't the best defense. But I am kind of just guarding the whole middle of the field by myself. I'm trying to honestly get a sack with, with what's-his-face. Great dot right there. That's that guy. And look how fast he is. Grant is open for the drag. Good conversion by Mo. Right here, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Cover three match. Hopefully, none of my guys get burned deep. Once again, on Muse as a user. Great defense right there. He lobs it up. Eric Harris with a pick. Some guy, some, someone who's been kind of missing out this year. But I know he's a baller. He picked out Phillip Rivers, I think, twice last year, uh, if I do remember correctly. Great defense right there. Let's go, man. Once more, running mesh post. And I'm just going to just look for Josh Jacobs right here. Um, we're going to have him on the low ball inside. That was not a low ball, but I passed it inside. Either way, easy first down for us. And, man, I kind of want to take the top off with Henry Ruggs, guys. What do you think? What do you think? I'm thinking about going deep right here. Um gonna streak Renfro to kind of create spacing this looks like man coverage I think I could take off the top um, Ruggs has that speed advantage by three speed it should be more in my opinion but hey that's nonetheless and we're gonna able oh throw out a sack thankfully it wasn't a pick we had Ruggs guys we had Ruggs up the seam nice seam pattern it was a cover three that play is very good versus cover three but we weren't able to get the time and protection we needed to get that ball there and man, he is pressing rugs. That's something you don't do. We Do we have it? Back corner of the end zone. Great defense right there. And we had it. But the thing is, Derek Carr kind of wound, winded up a little bit. And that's the thing. And regs, when quarterbacks don't have gunslinger, it's huge difference compared to when they do. But right here, we're going to hit Waller on this flat. We're going to air truck. We're going to get to inside the 10. Great play right there. And you know, that's kind of backwards sinking. You know, on third down, you're not expecting your opponent to throw a flat, but trust me, I will because I know that flats are insane in this game. Once more, we're going back to our money play. Hunter Renfro on the slant. Look for him. Look for Josh Jacobs. He runs man again. Going to throw it in right there. Renfro with that nice catch in traffic. Let, let's us get to a position where we could run the ball with Josh Jacobs. 
what the Raiders do really best in the red zone right here. We're going to have Alec Ingle as the lead blocker. Going to try to bounce it outside. Great red zone defense, but we are still able to get to the one yard line from here. I kind of want to sneak it, but man, I'm going to trust my dude Josh because I've seen him do this multiple times in the red zone past two years. I know he could do it for us right here. Jump over the top if I can. I have Josh Jacobs in. And we're not able to get in. Great stuff, but you know us. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. What's the play call, man? What's the play call, man? Ooh, there's there's quite a bit of options I could do. I'm going to pass, though. And we're going to hit Waller right there. In route to Waller. Play action pass. Definitely caught him off guard. He was sending everyone stopping, trying to stop the run. And, you know, we're able to hit Waller right there. Just like in real life, man. Um, if you watch that Chiefs game, that's not exactly what we did against the Chiefs. But, you know, Waller was wide open just like that against the Chiefs. And, you know, kind of kind of recreated it. Great half so far. We're going to get the ball at half as well. Definitely going to just, you know. I mean, honestly, Mo has been pretty solid. He's been pretty solid. He moved. He got to the red zone the first time. That second time, that wasn't kind of, you know, uh, it wasn't the best read, but the thing is, we kind of got a nice animation. Eric Harris, I think, is six foot one or six foot two, so he was just tall enough to reach up and pick that pass off. And man, uh, if you guys are wondering, you know, how am I, what am I doing on defense? I'm not really running man too much, and when I am, I'm having those two safeties back there because the thing is, the Raiders don't have the best run defense. Excuse me, pass defense. They're not that fast, and you know, you can't really run bump and run man versus them. You know, at least without the two people up top. So I'm definitely running a lot of zone, cover three, cover two, whatever it may be. Um, if you want to run a lot of man, cover one, cover zero even, you maybe use the Pats. They have a really awesome secondary. Um, the Packers are really good on their secondary as well. You could definitely get away with that. It's right here. Oh, no, Matt Breida. Whew. Whew. He snuck something in right there. I was too busy talking to y'all. And Mo tried to glitch me out. Running Wildcat with Matt Breed at 95 speed, man. And that's a very beautiful call. He's doing the same thing again. This time I'll be ready for it, man. I'm going to, you know, just space it out, man. And if he wants to take it up the gut, go ahead and be my guest. We're not trying to give anything up. And he's passing with Matt Breed. He's passing with Matt Breed. And he almost ag catches us. And wow, man. I'm always having fun right now. I could tell. Uh, Matt Breed almost threw a dot, man. What can I say? Right here. Last play before half. We're going to back everyone up, put Jonathan Abram in the deep third, and I'm trying to get glitchy, and so is he. Another screen pass to Matt Breida. We're able to tackle him down. Great first half. Man, we're, we're playing really well, obviously, and I mean, so is Mo. This is definitely very a lot of fun. I should have put someone else on the kick return. I mean, nothing against Jalen Rashard, but Ruggs is obviously the fastest, you know, guy on the team. You got to put him there, you know? And it looks like Mo Hurst gets in the 3-3-5 odd. It's a really good defense. Um, he's back in man again. And that's good defense, man. That's good defense. Derek Carr does have wheels, but we're just going to let that ball go out of bounds. And a solid stat line right now, man. We are 11-15, 122 yards, and one touchdown. I want to say uh, two touchdowns. We did throw that slant to Nelson. Excuse me, Hunter Renfro. It's right here. We're going to... We see he's running a lot of man, and we're not for that. We are not for that. That's Henry Ruggs, baby. And I'm not going to lie, Henry Ruggs is so fast because I thought I overthrew it, man. And maybe you guys did too. It did say under pressure, under, you know, where I threw it. But Ruggs just made up so much speed with the pressure in his face. Derek Carr delivers a dime. And that's what I want to see more of. And I'm, that's what I'm sure you Raider fans want to see more of as well. Henry Ruggs going deep. That's why, kind of why we got him, obviously. For many more reasons but i love whenever he gets the ball man i'm a huge fan of henry rugs is right here oh that's great defense we throw a pick great defense right there by mohurst and that purple kind of baited me honestly i can't really say anything besides great defense he ran man with two purples and i thought my uh darren waller corner route was gonna clear the purple but it just did not and maybe if i lobbed it up it could have but nonetheless great defense by mo Right here, he's in split close. We're gonna have to watch Matt Breida. He's right there, he runs a play action play. Oh, Mike Gusecki, Ag catches us. Um, and that's really because Joyner is 5'10". And Joyner is a baller. Um, I definitely like watching him play, but in Madden, man, 
height is everything. And right there, he kind of gets, uh, as my friends like to say, dunked on. It's right here. That's not Matt Breida. That's actually DeAndre Washington, I'm pretty sure. Former Raider, man. Shout out to him on the screen pass for two yards. Right here. Strong pro. We're definitely going to try to shoot the run. And he's play-actioning it again. I'm going to use a Matt Breida. And right there, Eric Harris with the pick. Second pick of the game. We're going for six. Jumping in the end zone. Let's get it, Eric Harris. See you later. Pick six. And right here, if, if you can see the replay, the ball kind of just sailed on Tua. He was trying to pass it to that J J Jeremiah Grant. Um, and, you know, and excuse me if I'm saying his name wrong. I just forgot. Uh, it's Grant. I know he's like 95, 96 speed, but yeah, man, uh, he's a he's a beast, and so is Eric Harris. And it's Jakeem Grant for y'all, man. Sorry, Jakeem, if you're watching. Sorry, any Dolphins fans, if I butchered his name. I was thinking of the I don't know what team he's on, but he was on the Nuggets last year. I was thinking of him, man, Jeremiah Grant on the Ford for whatever team he may be on now thinking of him but it is jakeem grant this dude has been a stud in the league kick return god and he just does it all man he's actually really really good i love watching him man it's like a mighty mouse and he is kind of open right there wonder if he's gonna throw it to him and he does but he gets hit as he throws the ball interesting stat jakeem grant is five six i didn't even know that until now i'm back here in the cover three over g um you know i'm kind of just playing stock defense you know i'm not trying to go try hard mode because obviously that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having fun. I'm definitely playing and making adjustments. It's right here. Everything seems to look, be back. And Jeff Heath once more with a pick. And my my safeties, Jeff Heath and Eric Harris are going off, man. They're d doing what they do best, and that is getting picks. I definitely got a few tips for Mo. Um, obviously, I'm going to text him. But one thing's for sure. If you want, you know, to use a quarterback who could kind of get the ball, in the right places at the right time you got to use either brady and or that's right here is rugs open rugs is open man you're not stopping him henry rugs going deep 98 speed see you later but like i was saying you got to use the bucks or you got to use the packers aaron Rodgers with gunslinger and tom brady with set feet lead and if you guys are having troubles at home as well those really are the two best teams and regs Obviously, you could use the Chiefs, and the Chiefs are broken with a 99 speed Terry Kill with a Travis Kelsey and, oh, yeah, Mahomes as well. But I'm telling y'all, man, if you're having troubles with, you know, getting the ball in the tight windows, you got to use Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady, and they really do get the job done. Big Mo just texted me. That was one of those I hate Madden moments, and I definitely feel for him, man. He's been playing really well. It's just... Who is kind of selling him out, man? And, you know, this has really been effective all game long for him, which is, you know, the run to Matt Breida, those slip screens. But when Tua has had to pass, he has not really made those throws where he needed to make those throws. It's right here. He almost, he does make that throw. And, of course, timing is a funny thing, man. Right on cue, right? Um, man, oh, man, that what a dime. That's all I can say is that was a really nice dime. As we did get the pressure, and nonetheless, it didn't matter because he was able to make that dime across his body on the run. Just, just beautiful, man. And he's had a little success out of these I-forms formations with running the ball and running a little play action. It's right here. This is a nice play. He's trying to go up top, but that's double, triple coverage. Damon Arvernet, 20th, 20th pick in the what 2020 draft. Trying to make some moves happen, but we unfortunately cannot. And one thing I already noticed is, man, Arnett needs his, his red dreads in the game. Red or pink, because those are very dope. And obviously right there, as you saw, he did not have those. So EA, man, fixes player likeness. He has those pink or red dreads in the game, in real life. And right now he does not. It's right here. We're going to truck. We're going to truck again. And look at Josh Jacobs being the bulldozer that he is. Just trucking people, man. Just absolutely trucking people left and right. Right here, gonna run a little bit of verticals and we're just gonna take our underneath patterns. Great tackle right there and I accidentally kind of ran out of bounds. Bad stick work by me. Either way, that should have been a tackle. Jerome Baker, I think has like 88 to 90 speed. It is a good matchup. Um, at least Madden wise, Jerome Baker on Darren Waller because they're both fast. They're both kind of different at their position.
position. I am a huge fan of Jerome Baker as well. I know he went to Ohio State. That's right here. We get hit stick by Bobby McCain, and we'll definitely take that. On to the fourth quarter, guys. Four's in the chat. And I feel like we got to go deep one more time, man. We got to go deep to Henry Ruggs. He's bringing that safety down, man. He's tempting me. He's tempting me. He's in the man coverage again. We're just going to lob it up. And, of course, we get hit as we throw. I hate that so much in this game because, I mean, if I had Gunslinger, maybe I could get that ball out. But, really, the sheds are too nice in this game. And, honestly, we're going to do the same thing again. This time, his safety isn't brought down. And, you know, he's on that right linebacker. He gets caught on the D-line, unfortunately. We're going to just chuck this up, man. We're just going to chuck this up. And we get picked off. Great defense right there. I'm a huge Byron Jones fan. And he might be able to six this on us. Come on, Rodney Hudson. Get out there. Come on, Colton Miller. Hit stick him. And we do get a big hit stick with Colton Miller. That's honestly someone you don't want to get hit stick by, man. It's like six foot six. And he, you just saw how big he was right there on that hit stick. And that's what happens, man. Sometimes you can't spam plays. Right there, I felt like we had it, but Byron Jones is such a glitch. And he has a deep out zone KO, which basically means he's going to be very good in those deep passes. And, you know, it didn't light up there, but obviously he's able to get that pick. And, yeah, man. I mean, nonetheless, great defense right there by Mo. He's going to hit Brita right there, but he cannot maneuver him and he has to run out of bounds right here running cover three with a three wreck on the field this left seam is open but it's all dependent on his play call the right side of the field is also wide open jeff heath is not going to be able to get to that left side but he will play that third as best as he can um and that's just how regs is man you know maybe yeah everything i just said might be going the other way where they can play it but regs the defenders are just not that good man and right there that's a bad user by me Gusecki is a glitch right there. Uh, the fast tight end, the tight ends are becoming more faster and faster in the NFL, and that's honestly how it is. I mean, obviously Waller, super fast. Gusecki's fast. Kittle, dang near wide receiver. Kelsey, he's not the fastest, but I mean, he is a he is a dog. He's right here. Oh, we were almost about to pick that. I didn't hold Y, aka I didn't, you know, I didn't hit the button to pick it off, but nonetheless. I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna get on Mo Hirsch and we're gonna try to get this sack with him. And I'm just trying to be a troll at this point. Come on, Mo Hirsch, we're there. No, we fell on the ground. All right, right there. We get a pick with Trayvon Mullen, anyways. And I mean, man, I wanted to get another sack with Mo Hirsch. I just wanted to let him know that I'm everywhere. I'm on the user at the on the cornerbacks on the you know linebackers and on the d-line we could do it all coach right here it's gonna take off with Derek carr get my 10 yards slide down also right here i'm gonna hit darren waller and we're gonna air truck great defense right there uh cover two i want to say cover six so the right side of the field was cover two left side of the field was like a cover four type defense and you know, that was good defense. Right here, we have Hunter Renfro right there. We're going to juke, get almost to the 50-yard line. Right here, we're going to try to go deep with Henry Ruggs, boys. And we're going to motion him in so, you know, he has a better chance of getting open. Actually going to motion him all the way across the field. And, of course, a two-minute warning. But we're going to run the same play again, man. We're going to run the same play again. Motion him all the way across the field. And we're going to call Hike as he crosses right here. And he hits us with a clean user rush. Good stuff right there. I had a couple people open, but, you know, I eyed down that one read, which was Hunter Henry Ruggs. I almost just said Henry Renfro or Hunter Ruggs. I'm getting my names mixed up, but I'm going to move on to a couple new formations and try to get something to work. Right here, let's do Byron Jones is everywhere, man. And oh my goodness, Byron Jones is playing everything today. Word of the wise, if you're playing the Dolphins, do not test Byron Jones. That dude is going to lock up on you. Right here, strip sack, Jonathan Abram, Cleveland Farrell, jumping in the end zone. That's all she wrote, baby. And right there, we do need some plays like that in the NFL, man, from our Raiders. You know, whether it's John Abram on the heat, causing strip sacks. So you see right there, you barely saw it, but he was right after the quarterback to a tug of Lavoa. 
man i hope we do that in, in when we play them man that would be definitely very very cool to see because right now man our offense is you know i would say our offense balls very bold it's top five right now argue with me if you want in the comments guys i'm definitely down to argue and fight for my raiders um but our defense man i mean it's getting better by the weeks but you know if i could see some turnovers fumble sixes plays like that i feel like we can't lose and i don't know if you guys agree or disagree let me know in the comments as this game is coming to a close we're gonna just use her good dot right there by grant jakeem grant i got your name now my guy and it's a rough stat line for Tua, five picks but man he definitely had some dots and the scoreboard is definitely not you know uh indicating how this game went now, i gotta get on mohurst again man as right there he does shed the double team but his pocket was super clean right there he backed up backed up backed up and you know at that point you know what can you say besides good pocket and i'm coming in free with i'm coming in free with hearse man i'm calling it right now i'm gonna try to rip this double team and get a sack rip great read and that's the one thing with using the d-line man it's definitely hard unless you're running man um, there's just too many exploits in the zone and we're gonna switch it up right here man we're running a little bit of zone man and i'm trying to get a sack with hearst man i'm trying to get a sack with big mo I'm trying to rip can't come in free and that's what happens jakeem grant wow that was a dime but unfortunately for him he cannot get his feet in bounds that hurts i know it hurts a little bit but nonetheless the game is still a little bit out of hand, but yeah, that was a dime, man. That's all I could say. Right here, man. Another attempt to get on Mohurst. I'm trying to make something happen. We do get the shed, but another great dot to Jakeem, Jakeem Grant. Another dot right there to Devontae Parker. And if he's going to need a timeout, I definitely got him with a couple timeouts. Um, I'm still trying to get this user rush. It may be looking like something else, but I'm telling you, man, I'm trying to get this user rush. It's right here. Wow, Devontae Parker absolutely torches Damon Arnett on the press. And I mean, the, the Dolphins have a squad on them, man. They have a really nice defense, fast speed everywhere. Tua, Devontae Parker, um, Jakeem Grant. How can I forget about Matt Breida? Gasecki is fast for a tight end. The Dolphins have a really nice roster, guys. If you want to use them, feel free to, man. Um, they are nice and regs as well. And of course, he's going for the onside. Let's see if he could get it, man. Let's see if he could get it. The kick is up. And Jeff Heath is going to recover this ball and just go down. I would need, but I mean, man, there's no point in kneeing in a game like this. Let's get a couple more reps out there for both of us. And I know he he is a fan of the game, so I'm definitely going to keep not running up the score by any means, but we're definitely going to keep getting a couple more reps in, you know? It's right here. Post is open. Brian Edwards, a rookie, definitely, definitely likes seeing him on the field. Kind of reminds me of Amari Cooper, and that's it's not because his number is 89. It's just he, he's, he plays really well right here. Darren Waller on a drag. We're just going to hit him, trying to turn it upfield. And honestly, boys, I'm just going to call timeout one second. I'm not going to score. I'm going to probably just, you know, call another pass play and then just go out of bounds if we do have someone open. And he's in mid blitz right here, man. He's definitely trying to get a sack. And let's see if he does. He doesn't send all the dogs, but he does get that strip sack. GG's to my guy, Mo Hurst, for the Raiders. Big salute to him as you see the final stat line. Look, he didn't play bad. 65.3 completion percentage, 225, one touchdown. He just had a couple picks and a couple fumbles. But nonetheless, GG's and huge, huge shout out to Mo Hurst, man. And, you know, if you did enjoy this type of video, this type of content, hit that like button, comment what you guys want to see next, and keep sharing, supporting, subscribing, all that good stuff. We're on the road to 5K. Catch you guys in the next episode. Peace and much love to y'all. Catch you next time.